Hello, and thanks for watching this Acumatica quick overview brought to you by Cloud9 ERP Solutions. So one major thing that makes Acumatica completely different than other ERP systems you may have seen is the fact that it's 100% web-based. It requires no plugins, which means it's accessible from anywhere. It also means no clumsy remote desktop connections or complicated workstation setups. So let's sign in with our credentials. Acumatica supports multi-factor authentication, single sign-on. So I'm the admin user, as you can see up here. And if we scroll over to the left, you can see our menu items. Because I'm the admin and because Acumatica has role-based security, you can see that I have every menu option that's available. And navigating through the menu items is very easy. If I'm looking for a financial item, I can click here. And Acumatica has everything categorized. So here's where I perform a transaction. Here's my profile, such as chart of accounts, master financial calendar. Here's my processes area where I can release transactions, run allocations, generate recurring transactions that I've set up, configure my budgets, do lookups and inquiries on chart of accounts. Here's my reports and my financial statements and my preferences. Now you'll notice at the top of the screen it says quick menu. If we click here, you can see all the different menu items. And this is easy to configure. You can come in here and choose the items that are important to you on your day-to-day -day basis. And again, because Acumatica's role-based security, you won't see menu items that you don't have rights to. Now at the top of the screen, I have these action cards. So this is where I can click a new journal entry. And again, these are configurable. We can add additional action cards. We can hover over a menu item and add it to our favorites. That'll show up here. And you could move work areas up and down and menu items all around. In Acumatic, I could search for a number of different things using our global search. So if I'm looking for maybe a customer that has the letters BAR in it, I can hit the enter key and Acumatica will search through our customers It'll find shipments associated to that customer, sales orders, invoices, and all sorts of different documents. If I'm looking for a menu item, such as maybe cash flow, I can type that, and our first option is to search through menu items. So you can see it's found our financial cash flow statement, as well as our cash flow forecast. Now, if I need help, I can click over here and Acumatica will return help results. And Acumatica's help is extremely well written. It's written by documentation people, not developers. If you have any experience with help in ERP products, you'll know it's very difficult to find the information you want. Acumatica not only has references, but it also features business examples as to why you may use this feature and then how to use it. So if we go back, my home screen is configured to bring up the controller dashboard. But in Acumatica, you can bring up any screen that you want and associate it to the user profile. So our dashboards are designed to give you real-time information to information that's important to you. So for example, this is a controller dashboard, cash on hand, expected cash in 30 days, on credit hold customers and you can drill down into these so if I want to see who are the on credit hold customers I click on it and it shows me and I can drill in deeper to figure out what this is all about additionally our sales demo has a ton of different examples of dashboards you might use so if I'm a purchasing manager this gives me indications of what items I might purchase, overdue receipts, items that I'm waiting to receive but haven't been received yet, any open purchase orders that we're waiting for, purchase orders that are pending approval and whatnot. And one of the things you notice about our dashboards, if we take a look at another dashboard, like Sales Manager, is we have a number of different types of information in the way it's displayed. So these are scorecards. 
This is a trending card. So you can see the profitability trend, it's up. The deal size, however, is down. And we have charts. So this is a multi-stack chart. Month by month growth. Sales activities, number of activities that employees in the company are performing, such as phone calls and emails. Here's the different sales quotas that we've established and their comparable sales. And the dashboard is very easy to configure too. So if I click on design, I can move items around if I need to. I can click on the pencil and start to edit the widget. Notice this shows different colors for warning and alarms based on the levels that we've defined. You can edit the layout to display it in a different way. And one of the cool things, back to the fact that this is 100% browser based, is we get the benefits of the browser, such as coming in here and zooming in and out. I'll use the control minus key to zoom out and zoom back in. And with Acumatica's responsive design, you can see the screen looks great regardless of the zoom. No need to configure all those display resolution settings. So moving ahead, let's go into payables and let's add a new bill. So we can tab down, we give it the bill date. We'll give it an invoice number from the vendor. We can type a few letters of the vendor's name and notice Acumatica does a quick search. We can change our terms. The terms are coming from the vendor profile. Here's the due date. We can override that again if we have the rights. We can add an item here. Maybe it's $500. We can pick a GL account and release it. Now let's go into our sales orders. So Acumatica gives you these grids as a means to see information at a glance. So in this case, this is a list of sales orders. But notice at the top of the screen, I can configure different filters. So for example, my sales orders that I've written, sales orders over $1,000. I can even create very quick pivot tables. Literally in seconds, I can have a pivot table, in this case, showing me order totals by status and by month. And our pivot tables allow you to drill down. So if I want to see all the canceled orders in May, I can click right here and Acumatica will drill down to show me very quickly. So let's jump into the mobile app. The mobile app in Acumatica gives you great convenience and accessibility to the Acumatica product with potentially the ability to access every screen in the software. So let's jump in. Bring up my mobile device. And Acumatica out of the box has all of these screens that are configured to be accessible. So you can see at the top, you can file expense receipts right on your mobile device and load them into expense claims. You could take a look at our other video on expense receipts and expense claims and how easy it is. You could even use your camera to take pictures of receipts. You can take a look and make approvals. You can see support tickets, open them up, communicate with customers, sales opportunities, do contact lookups. But let's create a sales order. So here's a list of sales orders. Again, our filters indicate my sales orders over 1K, open orders and open orders with no payments. And if you look behind in Acumatica, those are the filters that we have. So if we want to write a new sales order, we'll hit the plus button at the bottom. And we could select our customer, typing in a few letters, hitting the magnifying glass to search for our customer. We can go to details and add an inventory item. 
This time we'll do a lookup and then search. Put a quantity. If we have rights, we can change the price. Decide what warehouse it's going to come out of. You can see other settings. We can put a document discount here. There's a promotion running. Change the ship to information. And let's save it. So now you can see we've saved our sales order. Here's our order total. And if we go back, we can see it on our list. And if we refresh in Acumatica, of course, it's right here as well. Now, back at the warehouse, let's say this sales order becomes a shipment. We go back to the mobile app. You can see this is now shipping. So you get access to real-time information right through the mobile app, allowing everybody in the company to have this kind of real-time information lets decision makers make decisions quicker and with more facts on hand. In Acumatica, we have processing screens, so I can do things in mass process. So for example, process orders, I can go into actions and I can create all my shipments for the day. You can check off the orders that you want and process them. And now these shipments are ready. They're released to the warehouse and the warehouse can start printing pick tickets. And mass process screens can also be scheduled with Acumatica's integrated scheduler. So you can decide to do this maybe at 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock every day or twice a day or multiple times an hour. So we have process screens for many different things. So here under process shipments, I can print my pick lists. I can email out shipments. Acumatica has an integrated email system. Print all my packing slips. Under process invoices and memos, I have more actions such as release, email out the invoice, capture my credit card payments in bulk. So Acumatica does this to make things a lot more convenient and the ability to not have to handhold every document throughout the system provides tremendous time savings. So we talked about integrated email. If I open up a order, I can go in and bring up the sales order form. And of course I can print it. Any notes show up at the bottom. Our reports are completely configurable. As you can see, Cloud9 ERP solutions. That is something that doesn't come out of the box and we added. But additionally, you can also export this to Excel and PDF. But with our integrated email, you can email it right out. So Acumatica, based on the report, pulls the email field from the customer. And that could be the billing or the shipping contact, whatever field that you have in the system. You can modify the report to pull it. And the subject heading comes up. Uh, this email template comes also from the report. But again, the report can be modified to include additional fields, maybe some nice graphics. Your signature would show up at the bottom based on your user profile. And you notice with this file, we have a PDF attachment of the sales order. Now, when we send this out and we go back to our sales order, Acumatica continues to track the activity. So replies to and from the sender and the recipient can be tracked in Acumatica and you'll see them all here. So that's just a quick taste of Acumatica. For additional details, you can see other videos on our channel. But moreover, at the end of this video is our contact information. Reach out to us and we'll schedule a demo just for you. Thanks so much for watching.